Hi, dear all Espresso TV freaks. Uh, we are here now in Germany in uh, Bammenthal near Heidelberg at the uh, uh, factory of ECM. Hello. Michael, hi. Nice to have you here. <laughs> yeah, and now uh, we have here something covered uh, in white. What can it be? It's a new Techniker PID. So uh, it's our heat exchanger rotary pump machine, which we added uh, this year in PID display. So you can change a bit, of course, the temperature of the steam part of the boiler, of the heat exchanger, and you have the shot counter, which is the most uh, important feature for, for the customer in the daily use. Okay, so now we have a look somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so also the cover, of course, all machines are now covered from starting the Mechanica Slim um, with this nice white cover. And what is also new, we have the the same steaming valve which we use on the Synchronica now on the Technica PID and we added shortly on those two products like the Synchronica and the Technica PID the new uh, huh. valves uh, the new valves with the handle which looks the same like the water filters just to finish the complete look of the machine to make it uh, yeah a unique piece cool in case of uh, the customers who have still the old design and like the new uh, steam uh, taps is it possible to exchange them yes it's easy you just turn it and you yeah. remove it and by our dealers you can find them and uh, yeah it has a thread inside so it's really super easy that's right so what else is new on the Technica PID you find underneath the capeter the place to hide the blind filter, like there's a small spot to, to place it so you don't lose it in the kitchen and it always remains on the machine. Um, of course the major thing is the PID which now shows you the 124 Celsius uh, which is the, the temperature inside the boiler, um, not in the heating shell, in, inside the boiler of the steam part. Uh, we have new gauges, slightly bigger gauges than the old Technica 4, so they are look better and they have a nicer border. Majorly, the, it's our rotary pump machine, it's very silent and it's running. So you have the counter, you see the time of seconds. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. If I, when I don't like, for example, to see the temperature shown and I think I would like to have a more classic look, you have also the possibility in switching off the display, you have only a small dot, which is showing there that the machine is switched on. And um, if I want to see the display, I just push again. Okay. So entering the menu is the same thing like which we have on all our machines, pushing both buttons at the same time. And then you can go up or down with the temperature. Okay, Michael, now uh, I wanna, I'm a little bit curious about the PID functions. Yes. On the Technica PID, we have the display here. First of all, it's a shot counter. So when you make a coffee, you will see the time of extraction. So it gives you an indication how long the coffee shot was brewed. Okay. Um, the further function which we have, of course, you can change the temperatures of the steam part. Like this is pushing the plus button, you switch on or off. So I don't see the display and uh, I have a clean look yeah. of the machine. If I'm changing it the temperature, I'm at T1. I can go up or down with the temperature. If I want to go further in the menu, I press the minus button. This is the cleaning mode, so you have to be fast. You can set a value from 0 to 200, like now, 30 shots. After 30 shots, the coffee, uh, um, after 30 coffee shots brewed, this will show me clean on the okay. screen, like CLN. Um, but only a coffee shot which takes longer than 15 seconds is counted. Count. Yeah, it's counted okay. If you have reached the, 30, uh, the value of 30 coffees, it will count backwards from 10 to 0. This is the time where you have the blind filter inside installed. Okay. Like the installation or the blind filter you find here. Here, this one is the blind filter. So it's on the base of the machine. And from there, you... Um, like this. You have written or shown on the display 10. And it goes from 10 downwards for cleaning. On, yeah. off. And this is, will help you in remembering to clean the machine. Okay, good. Right yeah. So, the other things which we have is, you have the possibility after cleaning, you have the echo mode. I can set a value 
Oh, Eco mode means uh, stand by after a certain time. Yes, like I can put it to 120 minutes. Um, like standard, we put to zero, like the customer has to adjust it by himself in putting the echo motors in. And after 120 minutes, which will be two hours, the machine will go off. Uh, there you have the possibility in cleaning mode, like CLN is cleaning mode. Yeah. You can set a value from zero to 200, which gives you uh, a counter in the back of the display. So that means you set it maybe to 20. After 20 shots, where the coffee extraction took longer than than 15 seconds, will count for one shot. Okay. So, like during yeah. the flush will not count. So that means after these 20 coffees, you start making nice or you yeah. set the value which you want. Yeah. Okay. More or less, it's quite easy. What I see here, something new, uh, a new temper. That's right. That's the temper which is our standard temper which we include uh, in all the machines starting from the Mechanica Slim, starting from the heat exchanger to uh, the electronica. Okay, so now I explain a little bit the function of the uh, automatic 64 grinder. Here you see the PID with the stainless steel film and here I can adjust the single and the double dose. In uh, case of adjusting I have to press the minus and plus button at the same time uh, with my fingers. So now you will see nothing for a short moment. So here is T1. A T1 means a single dose. Now I press immediately here so I can adjust the time according to my name to my need. Now it's 4.2 seconds and uh, here is the uh, double dose. Uh, it's now 6.6 uh, .6 seconds for example. And um, yeah, this is the uh, main feature. Uh, it also has a um, manual mode. When I press this button here for uh, more than one and a half seconds, then you will see the MAN here appearing like this one. Okay, that's manual mode. Michael, so now we make the test. The tamping here, just put the weight of your body on it. That's it and oh, it's really nice. And look that the surface is uh, even. So at the side there are no particles remaining. Now we uh, check with a short flush whether everything's okay. We insert the filter in the filter holder and now put the cups there and we see the result. Here it's quite practical with the shot counter, of course. And here we have the small milk jug. I just remove a little bit of condensed water. So when I have just have no time, I can do it like this. Or of course a little bit more elegant uh, in this way, then I can adjust the position much better. When it's getting hot, I just stop. So now I uh, yeah, just need a towel. a towel to remove a little bit of milk foam. Yeah, otherwise it's dirty. Okay. And now I try to homogenize the milk and the milk foam. So it's a little bit too much, okay. So here is good and here is the crema. So it looks uh, quite good, texture is nice. Smell is okay. And now we do a Espresso TV Gino. Here just a zip. Okay, that's uh, yeah, micromalistic uh, design, of course, here. It's uh, not the best one, but I will do another try. Of course, it's uh, not so easy at the first time, but I will have a test. Okay, cheers, Michel. Mm, nice, nice. Nice machine, uh, nice guy. Nice crew, uh, I like uh, ECM very much. It improved a lot the uh, last 10 years. My Thanks. congrats, okay? Thank you, Marcus.